Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to make some scented pine cones which are just wonderful to use like in uh, centerpiece decorations or something because they're going to emit a wonderful smell and they're just great but they're easy to make. A um, couple ways you can do this is I happen to get this little bag. I like this. It was at Joann's and these are unscented. The reason I like to do this is because you know you can get those scented ones, scented like cinnamon. They're so strong and they got a lot of chemicals and stuff in them. So I kind of like to do it this way. But this is a package that I got at Joann's and I like it because it's got these little acorn looking things and stuff. But those pine cones are already cleaned. They're ready to go. But I did tell my husband that I wanted to do this, and he was awesome, and went out in the yard and collected tons of these little tiny ones. Well, these need to be cleaned. So the first thing you do to clean your pine cones is you mix uh, equal parts of water and vinegar. I have a cup of each, and then what we're going to do is just put these pine cones in there and um, let them sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, and they actually might close up a little bit when that happens and stir them around make sure they all get cleaned up so we're going to let them soak for about 10 or 15 minutes uh, mixing them up get a little sticks out that's fine <clears throat> anyway it's kind of cool because i mentioned wanting to do these and i came home and there was a whole bag he went out in the yard and picked them up it's kind of nice so now i pull these out i should have pulled all the sticks out first but that's okay um and then what we're going to do i've already got the oven preheating to 200 degrees and um, so then I'm going to put them on a pan, and I actually have a pan. I'm going to put some more. I'm going to put about another cup and uh, cup of water and vinegar in here so that these are completely covered. Kind of don't like to start with more than I need. So there's that. So let me get these, and I'll go get some more water and more vinegar. And uh, hold on, let me get those for you. Okay, there's that. Another cup of vinegar. Just about. Not good enough. So I'm going to mix that water in. And then this vinegar. Oops. And it will be fine. Now, I'm just going to mix these up. These might close up, and that's fine. Because I'm going to put them on... Uh, tray in the oven so I'm gonna let those sit for about 10 or 15 minutes coming back and stirring them occasionally and that will just help kill any like little spores on there that could sprout could kill any little bugs that are in there just kind of help make these better and I can see that they're already starting some of them are already starting to close up see this one right there it's already starting to close up so I will let these sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and I will come back to you when we're ready to put them in the oven so that they can dry out. Okay, they have soaked for 15 minutes and you can see they must have, uh, they've all uh, closed up because you can see how loose they are in the water. Now I'm going to put them in the oven at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. I have one of these really cool silicone um, screen kind of a baking pan, but... If you don't have one of these, you just put the uh, pine cones on there and probably once or twice you'll want to come and kind of roll them around a little bit so that they uh, are fully exposed. This is very cool. I'm just going to take it to the sink and I'm going to drain these off in there. Okay, so I just strained those off and now I'm just going to spread them out. I, I kind of, while I was stirring them, picked out the little sticks. And then there's little, a couple little pine cone things like that. So I'm going to spread these out. And now I've already preheated my oven. And you can see how closed up they are. And I'll show you. Some more pieces came off. I'm going to show you close up those little pine cones. And you can do these with any kind of pine cones. You can do them with the big pine cones or the kind that are like this and even the great big ones. Problem is... This is what we have. <laughs> this is what we get on our trees out here. We just the kind that we have. So anyway, I'm gonna put these in the oven. I'm gonna come back and check it in about 10 minutes and uh, 
then again in another 10 minutes. It should take about 20 minutes or so, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, the pine cones have dried in the oven, and I took them out and let them cool down, and now I'm going to put them in a bag with the bigger pine cones that I got. I took the little acorns out because they're made of like styrofoam, and I don't want those in there. So we're just going to use the pine cones. I'm going to put them in this bag. Now, previously I've made these before, and I've used the, uh, several different blends. Most recently, I love this blend called Autumn Air. This is from Simply Earth, and it, you know what? I do not sell Simply Earth. It's just a brand. I get a monthly subscription kit from, and I really enjoy them, and I like their products. So that's that. There is a link if you're interested in the monthly subscription. I love it. They have great recipes, which is the recipe that I'm following with uh, this bunch of pine cones. I'm going to use the recipe from their site, which I love, and it's got some oils in it that I really like. So, I've got all my pine cones in this bag, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, blood orange. There's going to be 20 drops of blood orange, and then 10 drops each of cinnamon and coffee. So nice. So I'm going to try these instead of using my normal autumn air blend. So I'm just going to drop them in there. Well, let's go to one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oop, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Blood orange. I love it so good. And now five of cinnamon and five of coffee. And I think the coffee is gonna give it a really good smell. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six. Six, seven, it doesn't matter. And then, oh, it smells so good already. Coffee it smells just like coffee, and it's a thicker oil. You can tell by the white cap. It's thicker, so it's going to take a minute for it to come out. There it goes. One, two, three, four. Mix it around. Five. Okay, yeah, I get that one off of there. So. There's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the bag and kind of mix it up a little bit. And then we're going to leave these in this bag for 24 hours. So I'm just going to mix those up. And these are going to have a really good smell, not that overwhelming cinnamon smell that you get from the scented pine cones that you buy at the store. You can always tell where they are because you come to the end of the aisle and you can smell them before you ever even get there. So these are all mixed up. I'm going to take a little sniff. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this is new blend for me to try. But now I'm going to leave these for 24 hours. And when we're done, I will come back and I'm going to put those all in a nice basket with these little decorator bits that came with the larger pine cones that I got at Joann's. And I will come back to you when that's all done in 24 hours. So the pine cones are done. They set for 24 hours in a bag. And what I did was I took, on the video, this doesn't look as good as it does in person, but I took a nice basket and aligned it with a little bit of some kind of holiday uh, napkins a friend of mine gave me. And I put the pine cones in here and I put a little decorations, like some of these little leaves. And there's like one of those uh, flower sprigs that you can get. I got this one uh, my friend gave me. It's from uh, Dollar Tree. She went to Dollar Tree and she was like, Linda, I found a whole bunch of really good stuff. And we were going to decorate. We just hadn't had time. So I'm going to use that. But I'm going to put that in my little basket. And I'm going to set that. Just it's like a gathering from the yard. And it smells so good. And I'm just going to set this maybe on the dining room table or on the coffee table. And those essential oils will just passively diffuse the scent in the air. And they smell wonderful. So there it is. A little bit of uh, essential oil scented pine cones in my basket ready to set out and make things smell good so I hope you guys give this a try it's kind of a lot of fun of course you can use any essential oil that you want it doesn't have to be the blend that I showed you but it's just kind of a neat way of uh, getting a nice nice diffusion of essential oils in your home so there it is, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.